Health experts have simple advice to help keep us safe during this outbreak. Uh, we already know it by now. Avoid large social gatherings, wash your hands a lot, and make sure you do not touch your face which is hard to do. Yeah, it's the last one, the not yeah. touching your face part that might be the hardest of all. Reveal investigative reporter Rebecca Lindstrom shows us why. Here's why it matters. Let's say I cough, then I touch this door. Excuse me. You come along and then you get one of those annoying itches on your face. It's basic stuff, right? But here's what happened when I turned the camera on my coworkers. How hard is it not touch your face? It is hard. All they had to do was try not to touch their face for 30 minutes. They just couldn't do it. Ah, I didn't. Yeah, I definitely was aware that there was a camera filming me and I tried hard not to touch my face, but it's just so difficult. Difficult? Our producer Andre touched his face 19 times, all the while another coworker feverishly cleaned her workspace behind him. You know, you might have noticed a bunch of, um, or, you know, looking away because I'm going, I'm not supposed to do that. But even then, he couldn't stop. Most people we watched made contact about nine times. One, two, three, for, well, you get the idea. I still don't think this counts, but it's touching my face. COVID-19 is spread through droplets. Dr. Sujatha Reddy agrees there are parts of your face that carry more risk. You happen to put your hand near your mouth or your lips, and those secretions enter your body. Your eyes are another one. While it's believed coronavirus can live on a surface for several hours, the CDC says it's not aware of any surface-to-person transmission so far. Still, Dr. Reddy says there is no reason to not start learning good habits, especially with a virus that doesn't always come with those obvious clues. And that's part of the problem with this virus. We know the virus has been transmitted when a person didn't have symptoms. We're calling that asymptomatic transmission. So get out that disinfected fidget spinner and don't forget to clean your phone. Maybe you can use it to even record yourself. It is difficult because you don't know you're doing it. And you end up reaching up and touching. You're like, oh, wait, I touched. That is well. it. Now that I'm aware, I didn't realize how much I did it until I've started being conscious of it. Now I'm like, you know, scratching my cheek with my papers. I, might, I, I, I might keep trying to sit on my hands so that I, I don't idea. touch my face. I might need counseling for this. <laughs> it's <laughs> one of those Jeez. things that even when they knew they were being recorded, you know, you would forget about the camera yeah. or you, you just didn't care. You had an itch and you would touch your face. So the keys, yeah. you know, avoid, if, you're, if you've got to lean or do something, just stay away from your eyes, your nose, okay. your mouth. And if you can, just don't do it at all. All right, Rebecca, thanks a wow. lot. Okay.